What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do something a little different I haven't done in a while. So I was walking out my door on my way to Stop and Shop to pick up a monster for my workout when there was a package outside my door and it was boom. Omar Esoft's Singularity pre-workout. Now this got backed by huge popular demand obviously because he has a huge following on his YouTube channel. I ordered it probably a month ago and I didn't expect it to be in for another month or so. So this was a nice surprise and it worked at a perfect time because like I said, I was walking out the door to go to the gym. I don't know if it's fate, I don't know if it's destiny. I don't know if it's singularity. Okay, that was corny as fuck, sorry. But what I'm gonna do today, I'm going to take a scoop of this before my leg workout and do a little review for you guys. So it is five grams creatine, 200 milligrams of caffeine, eight grams of citrulline malate, malate, I'm not sure how to say that to be honest with you, and four grams of beta alanine. So the whole thing behind this is that, you know, Omar is kind of against like, not against the fitness industry, I guess, but he, you know, like if you're in tune with the fitness industry right now, you know that all the supplements are just, it's like ridiculous between the prices, the ingredients that they add in, all the flashy shit that they put in there that, that's super unnecessary, raises costs, it raises even like health risks. So they wanted to make something very, very minimal, very simple with only ingredients that Omar believes that you need in a pre-workout, thus calling it singularity. 30 servings, it was $25, it was a long wait, but I'm going to take one scoop of this, and to be honest with you, I have no idea if it's flavored or not, it's just white. There are like little black specks in it. Let's see if you can see that. I'll open it for you. That's what it looks like inside. <laughs> Smell test. It definitely smells some kind of flavor, almost like a lemonade-ish. Shout out Gnosis for having the scooper on top. Not having to crawl through this. Ch ah! Still make a mess. So it turned like a purplish color. Move it into the light. You can see some flowers. Kind of blends right in there. I'm just gonna give my mom some singularity pre workout for Mother's Day next time. Instead of flowers. Smell pretty good. Mixed up fine, no clumps or anything. The taste. It tastes like, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be grape or almost like a pink lemonade. It's not really that good. I've had a lot better tasting pre-workouts, but I didn't buy this for the taste. I bought it because the dude knows his shit and his ingredients are probably on point. So I'm more concerned about how my workout goes and how I feel during and afterwards. So I'm just doing a little reading on the product itself. A well, shout out to them because they're donating a dollar to water.org for every bottle of this pre-workout sold. So that's pretty cool. So I don't really have time to look at the flavor and tell you what it is. Maybe I'll look afterwards, but it's okay. Mixability, 10 out of 10 slaps. Taste. It's not bad. I'd give it a five out of 10 only because like there's so many pre-workouts in the market that taste so good. So the bar is pretty high there. So we're gonna get this leg workout in and I'll follow up with you guys after the workout to let you guys know how it was. All right, so we're done with the workout. I did about 25 minutes of cardio and then I did a leg workout. So I hit lunges, side lunges, leg extensions, some calf shit. Let's start with the good and then we'll get to the bad. Uh, the good, the focus is really definitely there. Like I was very into my workout and the way I know that I'm like, that the pre-workout is, is working and the way I know I'm into my workouts is how like into my music I am. So my headphones are in and I'm like real focused on, on the music that's coming out and shit. If I'm really into whatever song pops on, that's how I know that the pre-workout kicked in good because that like gets my focus and my mentality really into that workout. So the focus was definitely there and I definitely got a good workout in. In terms of like energy, I don't think it really gave off that much energy to me to be honest. Then again, I, I do take in a lot of caffeine on the regular. I usually drink like a coffee in the morning, then my, a pre-workout before I go to the gym, and then maybe a coffer, coffee later in the day. And this is, this this pre-workout that I just had was the first fix of caffeine that I had today. So that could be why, because my tolerance is very high, so 200 milligrams of caffeine is not really gonna put me over the edge. But I guess for the first fix, it was pretty good. Like I'm, I'm 
I'm I'm pretty awake and I'm aware of what's going on. No, definitely no like after effects. Like I, I I'm not feeling a crash whatsoever. I might have to check back in in a couple hours to see how I feel afterwards. But pump wise, it's kind of hard to tell. At least for me, I feel like I like when I do legs, I can't really see the pump. I guess like let me see. There's a little a little vascularity going on in the calves. But for the most part, I don't really see a pump in my legs when I do them. I, I should have done this on like a chest day or an arms day or some shit to really see how it was working. But I'll keep using the pre-workout mainly because I know that Omar would put good ingredients into it. I know that it's a good bang for its buck, but I've definitely had other work, uh, pre-workouts that I like a little more in terms of taste and in terms of like energy and caffeine wise and things like that. But again, this is a this is a very simple list of ingredients. It's only like four or five ingredients that go into it. So the company's not wasting money on other stimulants and fillers that you know cost them money to produce, which means it costs you more money. So you're getting your best bang for your buck. Anyone that follows Omar, anyone that's like, you know, if you're into fitness, I'm sure you've tried a million different pre-workouts. So this is definitely one to try for yourself. It comes with five milligrams of creatine already in it. So, so I usually throw that into my pre-workout before I hit the gym. But all in all, I'd say definitely the best part about this was the focus that I had. And I'm still like really awake right now. Like I'm very focused and in tune on what I'm doing, which doesn't always happen with me because it might take me a little while to wake up after like a coffee or something. But that's really all I got for you. I wanted to make this video nice and quick. So comment down below what your favorite pre-workout is, or if you've tried this one and you have different thoughts, let me know. I'm always up to try different pre-workouts. I've, I've tried a million of them, but there's still a million more out there. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We talk a ton of fantasy football. Uh, I do a weekly vlog, which follows, uh, I, I started a marketing business up a couple months ago, which is just kind of following my journey and building my business. And I do random videos like this, fitness, music, whatever. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up. And I'll see y'all next time. Big dogs out. Don't even ask. When I find myself in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, could you love me more?